coding feels impossible right now, I need to tell you something brutal. You're doing it completely wrong. Three years ago, I was exactly where you are, staring at tutorials, feeling like an idiot, ready to quit. Then I discovered one thing that changed everything, and it has nothing to do with talent, memorization, or how smart you are. Give me just three minutes, and I'll show you why the best coders aren't the smartest people. They're the most curious ones. Here's what nobody tells you. When you're stuck in tutorial hell, watching video after video, memorizing syntax, copying code you don't understand, you're learning coding the wrong way. You're treating it like studying for a test. Dry, abstract, and boring. But coding isn't about memorization. It's not about being smart or knowing every function by heart. Coding is about one thing, turning ideas into reality. And most beginners never experience that. They quit before they feel it. Let me take you back to my 2 a.m. moment. I was building this stupid little weather app, nothing impressive. But when I typed in my city and the temperature popped up on my screen, something clicked. I didn't copy paste that from a tutorial. I built it from scratch. And suddenly my brain went, wait, if I can make this work, what else can I build? That's the moment everything changes. Because suddenly, every frustrating error becomes a puzzle you want to solve. Every Google search becomes a treasure hunt. Every small win makes you think, okay, what's next? You're not forcing yourself to open your laptop anymore. You're pushing yourself to close it. And here's the secret nobody talks about. The fuel that keeps you going isn't discipline. It's curiosity. Think about it. You don't need motivation to scroll through your favorite app, right? Because you're curious about what's next. Coding works the same way when you're building something you actually care about. Maybe you start with a simple to-do list. Then you wonder, how do I make this sync across my devices? So you learn about databases. Then you think, how do I make this look professional? So you learn design. Each answer creates three new questions. And before you know it, you've learned more in two weeks than six months of tutorials ever taught you. That's how curiosity works. It compounds. And it doesn't feel like work. It feels like exploring. Instead of being a consumer, you become a creator. Every app you use, you start thinking, I could build something like this. Every problem you face, you think, I could code a solution for this. That's freedom. The freedom to build your own tools. The freedom to bring your ideas to life without asking anyone's permission. The freedom to wake up at 2 a.m. with an idea and make it real by sunrise. And that feeling, once you taste it, you can't go back. So here's my challenge for you. Stop waiting to learn more first. Stop watching tutorials without building. Pick one thing you're genuinely curious about, not what seems impressive, what interests you. A game, a website, a tool, whatever. Build the simplest version of it this week. Google everything, get stuck, figure it out, and finish something. Even if it's ugly, even if it barely works. Because when you see it come to life, you'll feel it. That's the moment you realize coding isn't hard, it's irresistible. Now, you're probably wondering, what should I actually focus on learning? Because here's the thing, AI is changing the game fast. I made a full video breaking down the five skills that actually matter now that AI handles most of the grunt work. Just click it and I'll see you there.